Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 43 reaction. Okay, um, now the previous episode, uh, a lot of things happened because as far as I can like, you know, hear from the comment section, the people who have read the manga, they've told me that um, the anime is rushing. Now, like I myself, even though I'm not a manga reader, I was very easily able to say that like, you know, they are rushing because usually in one episode like a few things happen like one or two like you know major things happen and they kind of like you know like give a lot more background and information about it but it felt like the episode was like you know cutting in important parts and they were just showing us what happened as a result all the other stuff i feel like they completely just like you know skipped and like you know so many things happened in the previous episode first of all the whole battle with yoken you know um uh yo like, you know defeated him kind of and then they were talking then like you know the uh, what was that the, the the demon came out and killed him i think i'm not sure what happened like he's, he's already dead but you know it's crushed his soul now uh i still think like you know he's somehow able to some way she'll, he'll be able to get back i don't know we'll see uh, but you know that happens then there was that whole thing with sati sati gets like you know like stabbed by like you know like the blades and uh, again i also think sati would not die here because uh, Faust is dead and force needs to be alive if lysark and like you know like um uh, jan they if they are to be revived force needs to be alive so Faust will be alive and that would mean that Faust will probably be able to bring sati back as well if she is dead so that's that but that happened then like you know the whole scene with team ren they also died somehow like i don't they like i feel like they completely skipped that part they sh they were just showing them they were still like you know, standing in the bath you know in the bathtub and then they just like floating on the water like what happened within that time nobody knows you know like the vidya raja can comes in and they killed him because they want them to go to hell you know just like yo went to and fight their own battle and become warriors and that was that and then there was that whole scene with marco and uh, john and lyserk where all of them are like almost defeated they are almost dying marco you know, comes in and tries to help them out but unfortunately uh how comes in and obviously like you know you cannot do anything against how and he using his last effort he uses like you know he manifests the car and uses john and you know lysak takes them to tries to take take them to safety now i'm not sure what's going to happen to marco hopefully he he like you know how doesn't kill him but i don't know but yeah like that was what happened in the previous episode now uh like you know like i've uh, like i've heard that they, they crammed like nine or ten chapters in one episode which is kind of insane and i had planned on reading the manga but i still haven't been able to um i did not have enough time i will however you know read the manga like you know from here onwards uh, like this episode i'm watching so i'm i'll most probably start the manga from this chapter onwards and see what they like you know are skipping and everything and try to figure out what's happening more details you know i'll get so i've still not started I, I thought about starting it but i didn't get enough time to start but i will start it after you know later on so yeah that's one thing i'll do because they're probably going to skip stuff up until the end i think most probably they'll animate the last few episode properly that's why they're trying to rush stuff so that you know like these things they can get out of the way i'm I'm guessing they will animate the last few episodes properly this is my guess let's see what happens anyways let's get started this is episode number 43 of shaman king so i'll be putting the subtitles in the time here, here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go Oh, I was wondering what's going to happen if they kill him. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, like, how is just standing here? Okay. 
Yeah, so oh no. Oh. Wait. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Wait, so like obviously all the other countries are going to be involved in this and how is like I'll kill them all so that they don't interfere. All right, that's what is going to happen if <laughs> they don't stop how. All right. <clears throat> okay. Match is gonna. Yeah, like if the other countries get involved. Hmm. Almost. Oh, what? Underwater? <laughs> like what? Okay, Silva is here. What the? What happened to him? Okay, anyways. What marriage kind? Oh, here we go. There, there. All right. So, oh, so she let the um duck Tanuki go and ask. Okay. Oh, damn. Damn, I was not expecting Anna to start fighting how. Um, what? Oh no. Okay, oh, this is like the, the whole thing with hell. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> so each hell is like something that's related to them like for example horo horo here I was wondering what cat are they talking about? Mata Mune, okay. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. All right, so he wasn't even sent. Obviously, he wasn't sent to hell, but he. Okay. <laughs> and you, it's just you're beating up demons. What? Shut up! You just wait. Oh my! I ju I'm just saying. Like he was lying, obviously. But there you go. You did not. Yeah, it didn't matter. All right, go home to your imaginary family, you know. <laughs> Wait. Oh my god, he's like. <laughs> hmm. Damn, like all of them. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Especially in this. Mm. Mm. All right. What the? Wait, what happened? Oh, uh, okay. Oh boy, he's pissed. Moves are lacking, what? Wait, what? Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, he... But she lost her. She lost her power. Anna. Him, the Tanuki is driving the car. Yeah, like the golem is with her. What? Whoa, what's happening? Girls revert. Oh yeah, he's still fending off. Oh my god, he's literally beating him up. What? Wait, Yo is back. There you go. Oh, he's back. Oh, thank god. There you go. Okay, that's his new power. Oh yeah, the... Th this is not... Okay, never mind. You know what? Yeah, exactly. Like, this is not a official... Oh boy. <laughs> They'll be able to bring her back, I'm pretty sure. There you go. How many times? Okay, we need Lyserk Jan as well. Once! Wait then, what about Lyserk and... Oh no, Sati can bring them back, okay. Oh! Damn. Oh yeah, how many? How much? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
Well, all right, quick, go back, go back. Oh my God, what's happening? The other countries are also getting involved. Great. Oh boy, yeah. This is a board. Wait, who's this? Uyamada. Uyamada. Wait, who is. Oh no, they're bring back Maiden. Okay. Okay, they're brushing over stuff. I can see that. Like they, they didn't even show that they ran away. They're just telling it. Yeah. Eliza operating. Oh my god. But these are the Gandharas. Like, they won't def get defeated. Okay, they're back. <laughs> Return from hell. Well. No. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. That was that whole conversation we saw in the in one of the previous episode. Wait, who the? Oh, the Brockton or whatever his name. <laughs> oh yeah that's true okay yeah Mm. Okay, so Lysak is the only one who's left, I think. Mm. Oh my god. Yeah, he still hasn't. Oh my god, what? Oh, maybe that's why. Yeah, the past. The past is... Embodiment of my hate. Okay. There you go. Oh, whoa, he just turned into an. 
True. Damn. No, but who is this? Is this Aba? Yeah, yeah, it's Aba. Hmm. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's his world, so <laughs> All right Oh my god, what type of jump scare? Will them so yeah. There aren't many people who can make Hmm. Control the minor. Oh, there you go. Like he, okay. Oh, wait, they, they also brought. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, this is the cleanup. Hmm, well. Let's get enough witches. Oh, well. Yeah. No, not because of that, but. Orders didn't make sense. Oh, this is what he looks like. Whoa! What is happening? They're fighting against each other. What? Oh! Wait, oh my god, wait, he was working with... Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry, for a moment I thought that was Marco. I'm sorry. I was like, what's happening? Who are these people? Oh, yeah, that's true. Like, so oh, he led them. Oh my god. Whoa. Wait, what happened?
telling them about how the ability worked. Oh, he, okay, he told him. Whoa. Wait, the oh, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, they're gonna. He's going to try to consume them or something. Oh, what the. Okay, so, you know, I, like, this is a very wild, like, you know, um, assumption. I don't know why, but I've, uh, like, not always, but after I saw the flashback, you know, with How and her mom, I, I always felt like Anna was somehow related to How in her previous life. I don't know why, like, and there are a few, um, points that actually bother me number one Anna and how kind of has the same ability you know like how's ability to see inside like you know souls and like you know like what they are thinking Anna had the same ability so um it wouldn't actually surprise me if it turns out Anna in her previous life was um you know how's mother or something I don't know. I, I, this is a very weird, like in a very wild assumption, and I'm going like in a very different direction. But like, there's this weird obsession of how with Anna. I've seen that before as well. Another one, like you know, as, as I said, like you know, that their abilities are kind of the same. So, you know, if in the previous life she was like how's mother or something, that's the end. You know. It wouldn't surprise me because they do have the same, like, you know, similar power. Now, as I said, like, like I'm telling this, like, I'm thinking about this in itself is very unusual and it's like a wild assumption that I'm making. But I'm just saying this here because I feel like there will be some kind of connection that we're going to get here. Again, like, you know, like the way, um, like, you know, everything's going and um, not only that, but, but, but in the flashback, um, when we saw How's mother, she she really looked like Anna. So, as I said, I I'm I either am completely off, like you know, like off, uh, like you know, off the mark, or I'm I'm completely right. Either of it. So either I'm completely right in saying that yeah, like Anna is maybe somehow related to How in their previous life. Maybe she was his mom. Either that, or um, I'm completely off base, like an off the mark. So I'm I'm going to wait for it, you know, like and see if it what I'm saying is really true or not. Uh, there's like a I, I feel like there's like a fifty fifty chance of either what I'm saying that's either true or it's not. There's there's an equal like you know as I said like there were like you know a lot of hints given up throughout this whole like you know anime. Not throughout, but from the like you know later part of the anime, where it felt like there is some connection of Anna and How, and I feel like she's probably his mother from like you know one of his previous birth or something. <laughs> I don't know. It's like <laughs> like, I've, like I, that scene really made me feel that it's something like that. But I might be completely wrong, you know. We'll see. But all right, so this episode here, and again, as I said, like you know, it's it's it feels like they are like obviously they are uh, rushing and like you know skipping stuff. Like 
again so many things happened this episode i feel like this episode probably would have should be at least broken up into three parts you know? like the whole first part where we see uh yo like you know like somehow where where is it yeah the first part of anna like you know like, reaching there and like you know and trying to battling with how that part and yo coming back this the second episode should have been from there to <coughs> <clears throat> the part where team ren comes back like they completely i feel like they completely brushed over that but now i don't know whether the manga had additional scenes in this or not but i feel like they skipped some stuff there and the last part should probably be the whole thing with the lies like this this whole episode should probably be broken now down into three episodes i feel like that it would have been okay the pace would have been fine like uh, but yeah now okay so the first part here in this episode um we get to know something which i never thought about um other countries might get involved in this now like as how says like you know the 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 one like you know the, the satellite blast that happened um that was a uh, military you know like equipment so all the other countries know what is happening here now and they will be suspicious so they'll be coming here to do investigation and obviously they will get suspicious if they see like you know like a random place being blasted for no apparent reason so the whole thing there's a chance of the whole shaman fight which has up until now been kept hidden might come out and that's a problem like obviously for how as well that's a big problem because she he, he still is not the shaman king and he needs to get become the shaman king so before that these are basically disturbances for him that's why he was like ah i'll just kill them if they try to mess with us and okay all right so that was the first part and we see the patch officials are also you know like going to you know, get into like get involved in this whole scene because yeah obviously this is like you know this is going in out of like you know hands like, the other countries are getting involved so they need to they need to start moving now here's one thing they say like our duty is to protect the shaman king now um like up until now i've been saying like you know the patch officials are impartial but i feel like they kind of um <laughs> you know they i feel like they kind of they have already decided that how will be the shaman king didn't they like the, you know the, the the later part of the episode we see that one guy he was like oh like i you know how is going to become the shaman king so yeah that's why we're protecting the thing like him and all that stuff he says so it feels like they can they have already decided they're like yeah like how is strong he definitely will be the shaman king like i feel like that's the vibe they're giving out i don't know if it's just me but anyways but yeah they, they they're still impartial as far as we can see but they i guess they have a little um, like preference you can call it like you know little uh towards how i don't know probably i don't know if it, this is just me or this is really what's happening but yeah <clears throat> okay that was that and silva is out and like i don't know what happened he he seems pretty like i don't know let's wait for it i'm i'm sure we'll get our answers like he was anyways let's let's move on uh, I, like i'm i'm not trying to i won't try to guess this whole thing because i'm pretty sure we're going to get our answers in one or two episodes as they're rushing stuff so yeah <laughs> all right so now how gets confronted with uh, from anna anna comes in and anna is like all right like we'll fight and he he just lets all of them like you know marco and all of them go away like <coughs> <coughs> if anna did not come here marco would have probably died so like you know it was good that she arrived here at the time so marco and all of them like you know like were able to go now to get healed and anna is going to you know like fight um how now 
like then we see like you know the battles happening like we get a little glimpse of ren fighting those like you know like people inside his hell um horo horo as well now um but the only one who's like kind of getting you know, beaten up was lyser because his inside of his heart is still not that strong he 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 has not he he still has not given up on hatred and you know revenge that's why and that's why he's struggling now like let me know did they skip stuff here i feel like like you know, they should have shown at least a little bit more about the individual fights in the individual hells for example we see did see ren fighting a few like you know like people and that was just it then the whole thing with horo horo when he like you know falls in the water he kind of come, comes up and he's like oh the damn cat he like you know like brought us here this and that like that scene as well i feel like they, there's they, they probably took out a big chunk of content out of that whole scene and did not show us that or did not include it in that maybe it's in the manga because the whole thing with matamune feels extremely weird we see him actually kind of peeking from behind a tree like it does seem like he actually led them here uh, like you know led them to the individual places but that's that like you know what happened to him after that what happened to horo horo and ren after that like you know how they defeat their individual like you know fights how they complete them none of it is shown so i'm not sure if this is like you know shown in the manga or this is also like a similar way you know the way they were like they you know the, a lot of content was not shown maybe the manga is also the same like now like now this is like the whole thing like now i have to like you know kind of guess if like they're actually skipping stuff or like you know the manga did not have it like since i've not read the manga obviously i don't know which scenes are there which scenes they're skipping what not so like i feel like they are probably skipped stuff here but i don't know if the manga had this part or not but because I, I, think, I think like one of the comments told me that like the individual battles are not properly shown even in the manga. But I feel like the, the, the way the anime is doing it, it's extremely le less. Like they showed like how much, like 30 seconds of like, you know, the individual battles, like Ren fighting and Horo Horo kind of struggling to find his way. And that was it. And like then the next scene we see like they're all, they, they're all out and they have won their battles. Like how like what happened even but yeah i don't know either they're skipping most probably they are like you know they probably took out a chunk of content from there so that they could rush <coughs> but yeah now the whole battle uh, against uh, yo and the uh, greater demons um he fights them and he's like all right bring us <laughs> bring like you know like what do you call it like let take me to your boss or something like that who is stronger than you i'll fight him and i'm doing the you know the, uh, the training for myself <laughs> yeah and the demons were like yeah like i we understand now you're strong that at first the demon tried to like you know like trick him again and i was like yeah like this is a blatant trick <laughs> but like this is what i really like about yo he's like like he what can i say like he is neither believing like like no that's wrong like you know like that's not what i like you know we should say he is um can i say like he does not give in to um no no that's also wrong like it's a really weird thing i cannot explain it like what i'm trying to say here is that scene where um the demon is like oh we have family and children so spare me uh yo is like oh really is that so all right and then he's like ah fool you and tries to get him and yo just like you know is not surprised at all just beats him down and it feels like he is like you know like he's not getting led on like you know his emotions are in check completely like when he says something, he believes him. I'm, I'm, I genuinely think like at that moment, Yo believed him that, yeah, he has family and <laughs> you know, children. I generally think that. But then when he attacked them, uh, him, he was pretty calm and neutralizing the whole situation as well because he also expected that. So he, like, you know, he believes them and also expects, like, you know, what can I say? Like, 
like nah i cannot explain it properly but it's it's as if like he's like he's so disciplined that nothing actually phases him like you know if someone tells a lie he, he wouldn't get surprised at that moment he would just calmly assess that situation and deal with it as you know you need to deal with that situation and like yeah this is i guess this you can call this like a disciplined way because he did not get like you know he, he believed him i think so at least and at the same time when he, he realized that no that was a lie he did not get rattled at all he took care of that situation quite easily so he's believing him and at the same time you know like uh, he's ready to do whatever to um uh, yeah anyways i cannot explain it but anyways I'm, I'm quite impressed by like you know this that whole scene i, I was quite impressed with him like <laughs> he was so calm across the whole situation he just dealt with it as if like yeah nothing's a problem even if you lie to me it wouldn't matter i'm i'm sure i'll be able to handle that situation but yeah it's something like that like you know he's like a disciplined warrior now anyways okay um now here's one thing uh now as i said like you know there are a few hints that i feel like kind of um, like you know is pointing me towards a direction where we will probably get some revelation about anna and how uh, maybe they were connected in like in their previous lives or something because how says here again he says something like who are you you know like who, like did you let the others go away because um they like you know they uh, yeah they would they would get to near, know your actual power like you know and then he she says that like you know like i'm i cannot see the inside of your um heart just like i'm able to do it for others you know, who are you actually he, he asked that question this is another big hint i feel like like as i said before you know like i feel like anna is actually Hal's mother in one of the previous reincarnations like you know they have like the similar power something like that that's why i feel like that like, i might be completely off the mark but uh yeah anyways um like how himself is pretty confused but like you know like seeing anna how he's unable to you know look at inside her heart and how you know like he's she's like some kind of a different sort of like a um being and i don't know what she was doing at that moment she was acting pretty um weird you know anna like as as uh, how said like you're not acting like the way you act like what was that about i don't understand that it, it seemed like she's kind of dazed you know like she's like there and not there at the same time like you know kind of stunned something like that it feels like but i don't know anyways um all right and then yo comes back and again as i said i feel like they they probably cut out a chunk of portion uh like you know content here as well like like he did he said in the previous uh, like scene that oh bring us bring me to your boss or something like that and then they just skipped the part i'm guessing and now we are here he already i guess he defeated the person or something the demon and now he's here and <clears throat> like boy like obviously yo has gotten extremely strong now and he just calms Ryu down and he's like yeah um you know like uh don't uh don't worry like, don't let it get to you and um he he just he asked the about the whole situation he asks for like how many you know resurrections will you be able to do he says one now at that's at this moment i thought he was going to say like oh bring like wait a minute did what did he say i thought like he was going to say like bring sati back and then sati could bring all of them back okay here we go first how many more times can you do it um it expends more furyoku than i expected um i can do it once more all right there you go no wait he he does say that bring sati back wait then why did he say in the later portion he why did he say that bring jun back like like force said that he has enough to bring one person back is sati with him i did not notice okay. anyways like okay so yeah i was correct so he he tells him to bring sati back first so that sati can bring all of them back like i'm guessing sati can bring jan back and jan can bring all of them back 
kind of like a chain reaction, I guess. But yeah, anyways, okay, so I was right. Like he he does say tell him to bring Sati back. Okay, <clears throat> and all of all the pal, like you know, like house minions, they're like, oh, we won't let you. They're trying to like you know stop him, and the patch efficient he's like, oh, like we are here to like you know protect uh, the shaman king who is obviously ha he he wasn't even able to complete the sentence <laughs> he always like nah it's me <laughs> and then he shows them like you know his fudo quit it increased very much like the patch efficient was also surprised and you know like fumbari onsen team fumbari onsen is back and they're like yeah quickly let us oh and then the car comes in and they're like yeah like let's go to an anani's our help okay now here we see like you know the the there's like a helicopter yeah and okay there you go what a mess i uh, like hope it was a misfire but if he is abroad my ship then that's probably not the case president of oyamada company now Oyamada, where have I heard that name before? I feel like it, it, is this guy some like related to Manta? It was Manta's last name Oyamada. Let me check. Oyamada. There you go, Oyamada Manta. Yeah, I was right. So okay, so wait, is he like his dad or something? I'm guessing. Like we did see his dad before, didn't we? Or. Oh, I can't remember that episode. Oh, I can't remember if we saw her, his dad before. You know that one episode where... I can't remember at all. I feel like his dad was... We did see his dad, but anyways. But yeah, like, I don't know who this guy is. It's probably, like, you know, it is probably the dad because it says, like, the president of Oyama, the company. It's probably Manta's dad. And... Yeah, all right, so that was that, and then we get to see. All right, and then we get to see, like, they're in the golem. Um, Seram and uh, Recep, they're also there. Manta's there. Okay, um, here we go. Here's where I kind of get confused. Here, I think Yo says, like, we you know, bring Jan back so that she can bring everyone else back. But Sati's also alive now. Oh, there you go. I, I missed this part. Everything was happening so quickly. I completely missed this part. Okay, he does say, first Sati will resurrect Maiden. Okay, Sati will resurrect Maiden. Maiden, uh, you know, then the two of them can resurrect everyone else. Wait, so where is Sati? I'm guessing she is somewhere here. Or is, uh, is she going separately? I don't know. Anyways, like the main thing here is like, okay, Sati is also on the way to bring, uh, like, you know, uh, Jan, not, yeah, Jan, Jan back. Or wait, no, 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 wait a minute. No. Wait, what happened? The car, I, as far as I can remember, Marco's car, just a sec. Okay, this scene, the, the scene where we, okay, we were seeing uh, Team Funbari Olsen is back. Um, okay, yeah, the car is here. Oh, okay, I understood what was happening. My God, everything's happening so quickly. I, I really got confused here. Okay, so basically, I, I understand now what happened here. Like, I was thinking, wait a minute. Like, why are they going back if, like, you know, like, the car brought Lyserk and Jun here and Sati is also here. Okay, so, no, they're actually in the Golem. They're going to help Anna out. While, like, you know, the Sati and, uh, like, Jun, I'm guessing they are, like, you know, going to bring all the others back. They are there. Okay. So basically what happened, I'm guessing, is like the car came in. Marco's car came in. Um, Marco is there and all of them are there. I'm guessing like Sati, Lyserk, all of them. Uh, not Sati, sorry. Um, John, Lyserk. Their um, uh, Faust brings back Sati to life. Sati is going to bring back John to life. And John and Sati is going to bring back all the others to life. That's what's going to happen here. 
while yo on in the golem is going towards anna okay now i understand what's happening this portion was a little bit confusing for me because they went so quickly i was unable to properly process what's happening all right so like I, uh, at the beginning i thought they were actually going to jan and then i realized like no jan is here jan came from with the car so they're not going to going to resurrect jan but they're going somewhere else and then i realized like oh they're going to say help anna that's what they're doing while jan is already here with sati and sati is going to bring jan back all right it makes sense now i understand what happened Okay, anyways, that was that. And yeah, they're on their way to go uh, bring, like, you know, help out Anna. While the Vidaraja and um, Hanagumi, you know, they were, I thought, like, the Vidaraja is going to fight with them, but <laughs> Chocolove, Horo Horo, and Ren came back. Again, I feel like they, they probably they're gonna took out a chunk of content from here as well. Uh, because inside hell, we barely saw them. Like, we just saw them for maximum one minute of their content of the individual content and that's just it we just saw them fight and that's just it and now they're back out here and they're you know they've gotten, gotten stronger i'm guessing and uh, yeah now they're like okay how did they get resurrected and like honestly speaking that also did not cross my mind you know i should have thought like yeah how did they resurrect them and like the tao like you know june i think that's her name yeah she was, she was, I'm guessing, Sati taught her. Like, and that's what was happening in the previous episode. She was talking with Sati. I, I told, I asked, like, what, what's happening here? Like, why are they talking with each other? Like, you know, what type of deal are they making? This is probably what they, they were making. I'm guessing Sati taught her. Or, like, you know, the whole resurrection thing. And, yeah. All right, Hanagumi is like, you know what? Yeah, no need to fight here. Let's get out of here because... We were not told what we are supposed to do if um, <laughs> the people, you know, Team Rain is alive. Okay, then we shift to Lyzer's part. So many things, as I said, like, my God, they're rushing stuff. Like, uh, and then the, the whole thing with Lyzer, Lyzer, like, you know, after quite a bit of time, he actually understands. Like, yeah, his hatred, his, like, you know, revenge, the whole thing with the mom and dad is actually connected to the demon that's act like you know, trying to attack him and he is like all right like you know i can be whatever i want to be i'm an angel and he attacks him but you no know, nothing happens okay uh now this part i need to read this part again kind of missed this abba comes in abba's like hold it stop thinking so much or your soul will really get Rushed. Okay. Um. Who are you? Never mind that. Um. Calm down and visualize your body the way it's supposed to be. Okay. So I'm guessing like it's probably something like since this is like inside of his soul, if he himself gets agitated, you know, like the demon will also kind of transform like that. So he needs to calm down. That's what he needs to do. Calm down and do this little by little properly and uh, yeah and as, as like abba says like the you know the devil that is actually you're fighting is actually you you need to exercise your own anger your own hatred and yeah okay in the end your worst enemy is inside you <laughs> inside me yeah and then like you know like the whole People can will themselves to be happy or unhappy, but there aren't many people who can make themselves feel happy when they are under attack. Yeah. Those who have the strongest souls of all. Yeah. Like people who are able to smile at more of the, their most tough times are the strongest, as Abba is saying. And that's true, you know. Like, it's difficult to keep a smile in your face when you're going through a rough time. And people who are able to do that, they probably have the strongest soul and the strongest, you know, like determination and everything. So. Okay. Now, in comes Morphine and, um, uh, what was the name of, uh, Marco's car? I forgot. Mike, Mike, Michael? 
Mikael, I think so. Let me see. I think so. Uh, I think it was Mikhail, wasn't it? Yeah, anyways. Um, he, so, after, I guess, like, you know, the car, uh, uh, like, you know, like, actually brought uh, Lysark and all of them there to Sati, um, Marco is like, yeah, go, go to Lysark and help him out. So, Morphin is there, uh, the, you know, like, the car is here, and uh, <laughs> fireworks. Um, uh, the car is here, and so that's why Abba is like, use these to create your new oversoul. Okay, now I'm guessing we're going to resume this in the next episode, the whole thing with Lysa, or maybe they're going to skip it. <laughs> Either of it. But anyways. <laughs> uh, okay, then we get shifted to the, like, you know, house team again. Everyone's like, you know, sitting down. The Hanagumi is just bummed out, and, you know, they are like, oh, we need to, like, you know, clean all of these people here. No, like these people who are coming from outside and oh boy here we go here's where the weird thing starts um what's his name um pa Pe peote peote yeah there you go peote yeah he starts talking weird stuff he's like like not weird but he actually talks about like you know like um like it starts doubting how and uh, yeah like the thing that he says here is where is that oh yeah i, I remember now what he said um he first of all he kills off that 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 big guy i forgot i don't remember his name the guy who looks like a sumo wrestler um he kills him off then you know like Brockin is there as well and all of them he uses his oversoul to like get them one after the other and when like you know Hanagumi tries to uh, kill like you know tries to get him um he says like how already knows what we're thinking so that means I was going to do this how already know that knew that and still he let me go that means you Hanagumi and all the other people how doesn't care about you because even after knowing what i'm going to do he let like didn't tell anything to you and let you go with me and like that's what he's trying to say here i'm guessing and he says that he and he understands us all too well after all how can we read minds okay now this thing here so they did not know that how could read minds i guess i, I think it's probably opacho is the only one who knew it opacho and um i think luckiest are are the only ones who knew it like i think so like they you know that how can read minds and all of them did not know anything because that's that's like what their expressions told me and he like I was really confused here. I, first of all, the thing that actually confused me was this one guy pops up with like a minigun. He starts shooting and I don't know why I thought that was Marco. <laughs> I don't know why I even thought that. Like Marco's dying. Like, you know, how is he here? Like, that's why I was, I was extremely surprised. I was like, oh, that's happening. And because I thought like, oh, Marco was, was actually manipulating <laughs> or doing something. Like he had some inside people in a house, like, you know, team, I thought. And I, I like I was I was thinking of these type of scenarios. I was I was like, oh, Peote was actually on our team, and he was just you know kind of like a spy here, and Marco is here. I don't know why I thought that because as I said, Marco is dying. Like, why did I even think that Marco is here? Like, you know, he looked so much like Marco, that guy who popped up. And then, <laughs> and then I was like, wait a minute, this guy is not Marco. <laughs> who is this? And then I realized like, yeah, Marco is like you know injured. How will he be here even? And then, like, you know, he, like, I'm like, so, okay, so what's happening here? Like, this is like another team who's getting involved here. But then Piotr kills himself as well. You know, using his oversoul, like, you know, the, the punch that he gives. Um, not only the Hanagui, but he was also, in, like, you know, in, in the shadow. Just got punched and I guess all of them died. Just there. And he says, like, I don't care anymore. 
and then like we get to know what was actually happening i was very confused here i was like what the hell is he doing he just killed himself and all the others as well like why what was the whole point of this that guy like you know the guy who looked like marco for to me at least he he says like telling them about how's ability worked well it really rattled them okay so there you go that explains my question like you know so none of them knew about how's like you know mind reading powers um this guy he probably went to peot and told him peot got like probably crazy after listening to that or something happened he got rattled and he decided to kill the others and himself as well commit you know like a group you know suicide or something like that killed all of them including him there you go even our, our own ally payout ally he's saying ally because i'm guessing he probably somehow was able to convince him to join them um yeah even our own ally payout committed suicide yeah soon the great spirit will be within our grasp now here's the thing why is uh i'm guessing this is manta's dad or someone related to manta you know he, he's the uh, uh, chief of the oyamada company so like so they okay so i'm guessing this was what they were actually like you know concerned about like everyone's going to try to get to like you know the actual power like you know the greater spirit like the the whole thing happened the bombard like you know from the satellite happened and now like everyone's like coming here trying to gra gra grab that power and one of them is i'm guessing the oyamada company i wonder if he knows that manta is with them i don't know but uh yeah like he's saying like soon the great spirit will be within our grasp like that's basically what's happening like everyone's like trying to get that power now you know like it's like a whole competition now and like you know they're they're kind of manipulating others and that's how like you know they were able to get into the mind of peyote and just you know the, he also killed himself when all the other minions are dead now and how already knows that obviously how can read minds and like you know, he is something like that and he knows something like this might have happened and that's why how says here like reality is like that anything can happen at any time in this world um <clears throat> Even the most extraordinary individuals can be snuffed out in an instant. And the greater schemes can be undone by unforeseeable trifles. <clears throat> but some people are born lucky. They live happily lives even without trying True, Ridiculous, isn't it? It's foolish to take it seriously every time around. None of this matters okay so yeah like, it's true you know like as as the thing that he says like there's so many people who struggle so much and they get nothing out of life they're so unlucky that just feels like life hates them you know? like so and then there's like you know one or two people who like you know just born into like you know like i don't know like some like with great luck or something and they like without even expending any effort they just win at everything at life and it does sometimes make you feel like isn't life unfair like look at me i'm just like you know breaking my back doing the same thing over and over again you know trying to succeed and i i have nothing i like you know i'm, I'm getting no result while this person who like, you know who just lazes around who does nothing and he's just getting everything within like a like, you know just bare minimum effort and like, you know it makes you feel like that but this feeling is wrong you know like as like as we said this is like like uh, what can i say like like we should do what we are like, you know, i guess this is like yours motto you know do what you're supposed to do don't look at others you know? like don't get jealous of others and do what you're supposed to do and yeah that's that's what your main goal should be while how here is kind of like the like you know opposite here because he he went through a lot in his life not only one life but multiple lives and he 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 probably understands this very well that the thing that he says like reality is harsh and there's like you know so many people get nothing after doing so much while there's few people who get everything without even doing anything 
so it's harsh and, and like you know people might die now like you know just any time and anything can happen to them that's how unfair life is that's like how the way he sees it. like he like how saw a lot of things you know like out of throughout these whole lives all of his lives and that's probably why he has become like this you know like as they say like you know like he he's he's probably too experienced in life <laughs> that's basically it you know how's too experienced in life and that probably showed him the ugly side of reality and that's why he he's like this now anyways um now this scene i don't like you know like like i don't understand this part we already saw like they died you know like the hanagumi it feels like they're running away from something like so what is this happening is this like a, they're in the spirit form or something like what i don't know but it feels like they're running out of a forest like f okay so here's the thing the, the blue haired girl she doesn't even understand like, didn't even realize that she's there she's like we need to go to Haosama to find out if this is true the yellow haired girl with the like, two you know like things the, the bright yellow haired girl she's like but we we are dead yeah and no 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 she understood like she she knows that they're dead and but still she's like yeah we need to go to how to ask him what was happening was the truth and how's like yeah great timing you know like come to me i'm going to consume you i need some you know spirit power spiritual power and anna just kicks him in his stomach or something says like don't be a baby or something <laughs> act like a spoiled baby or something <laughs> yeah so yeah that was this whole episode uh, so many things <laughs> took me a lot of time to actually discuss about it <laughs> since, like, since they're skipping stuff like you know there's so many things in like one episode like i need to actually like really concentrate and seeing like what what happened in this like you know 20 minutes and yeah anyways so yeah that was this episode um as i said i will probably check out these few chapters of the manga i won't read the full part because i'm waiting for the anime to end uh, but I'll be like you know reading as the anime goes. Now I don't know. I feel like I I think it's like someone told me like uh, today's episode and the next week's episode are delayed. And since I was one week like you know behind, I kind of like you know like you know today after reacting to this, I'm all caught up. So I'm guessing next week there won't be any episodes. I'm not sure. I think like the the, the it's the next week is also delayed as far as I know. So the week after that, I'm guessing we're going to get episode 44 or something like that. So yeah, like, like yeah, I'll, I'll probably get like enough time to read the manga if next week is delayed actually. But yeah, that was that. And now, yeah, that was it. That was this episode. As I said, like, you know, the, here in this episode, I like, you know, I'm saying this now, I'm making like a huge um, uh, guess Anna has some connection with how in their previous lives and I think Anna was probably his mom or something like that either I'm correct or I'm completely off the mark and I'm completely wrong let's see what happens <laughs> because I, I I get this feeling like Anna is somehow connected to how in some way like you know in in their previous lives or something we'll see anyway that was it thank you guys for watching this is my reaction to shaman king episode number 43 so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah that was it thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with two more uh no not next week uh sorry uh as i said like next week i think it's delayed uh but anyways when episode 44 will come out i'll see you guys that week uh, with another reaction so until then goodbye and have a nice day